thanks so much for joining. Um, I hope your Monday is off to a good start and that you had a nice weekend. Uh, today's class will be a 55-minute Align and Flow practice. Um, I'll be focusing on hamstrings today and we'll also help to stretch out the lower back. Um, we'll also get some good shoulder stretches in. Um, I will demo the whole class without any props. If you have any blocks or a strap, you're welcome to use them. You can also use like a dictionary um, or even a shoebox in place of a block. Um, and you can also use a towel or a belt in place of a strap. So we'll go ahead and get settled and lying down. Get some more light on. So let's start lying down with our legs long. And you can either start with your arms by your side, palms face up, or maybe starting with your arms in goal post. Starting with the arms in goal post gets you a little bit more of a stretch through the pectorals. I'm just up to you. I'm just taking a moment to get any wiggles, any movement out, allowing the body to settle into stillness. And as you make the transition from your morning to your mat, just noticing if there's any tension, any tightness in the body. If there is, really trying to work into those spaces instead of trying to circumvent them. And as you settle in, see if you can relax the lower back onto the mat, rotating the shoulder blades to really root them down on the mat. Noticing if you're clenching your jaw. If you are, just opening your mouth slightly. And if you're furrowing your eyebrows, just squeeze them together a little bit tighter and then let them go completely. Just feeling the breath move up and down the entire length of the spine. Taking full inhales and exhales. For the next three rounds of breath, we'll take a four count inhale, sealing the breath at the top and an open mouth exhale to really let it go. So it's inhale, two, three, four, hold the breath, open mouth, exhale, let it go. Inhale, two, three, four, seal the breath, Open mouth, exhale, let it go. One more just like that. On the inhale, the belly presses up to the ceiling. The ribcage expands side to side. The chest lifts up, holding the breath. Exhale, let it go. And keeping the legs long, really tuck the low back down onto the mat so the entire spine is rooted down. Reach your arms up and overhead. Thumbs face the ground, pinky fingers face the ceiling. Keep hugging your lower back down onto the mat as you try to reach the thumbs down onto the ground behind your head. Getting a really deep stretch through the intercostal muscles, maybe even into the lats. Pointing the toes, reaching fingers and toes in opposite directions. Let's take another full inhale. And exhale, gently hug your knees into your chest. Draw the left knee to the left shoulder, the right knee to the right shoulder. Just giving yourself a tight squeeze. And then gently bring the knees to touch at center, placing the sole of the left foot on the mat and straighten your right leg towards the ceiling. Now you don't need a strap at all for this. You can interlace your hands behind your hamstrings or maybe even behind your right calf, using those hands for support to try to keep that right leg nice and straight. And so you can stay here, or for a deeper sensation, you can straighten your left leg onto the mat. So 
See if you can relax the entire spine down on the mat. And taking another full inhale and exhale. Place the left hand either by the side of the left leg or if the leg is straight on top of the left thigh. Keep holding your right either calf or hamstring. And just let the right leg open out to the right side. Try to keep your left hip squared to the ceiling. Let's take another full inhale and exhale. Lifting that right leg back through center with the left hand, either holding the right thigh or the right calf, cross the right leg over the body through your IT band, sort of add our hip stretch here. Ease is over the right shoulder. Let's take another inhale and exhale. Lifting that right leg back to center. Hug your right knee into your chest, and then straighten the right leg next to the left. And I don't know about you, but this makes my right leg feel like an inch longer than the left. So we'll reset second side. So the right foot comes onto the mat, hug that left knee into your chest, and then straighten the left leg to the ceiling. Hands interlace behind either the left hamstring or the calf. You can keep the sole of the right foot on the mat or straighten it, right? And this side might feel completely different. See, if, just notice if your shoulders and your head are starting to lift. See if you can relax them back down onto the mat. Let's take another inhale and exhale. Right hand comes either onto the right thigh or next to the right leg. Left leg opens up to the left. Really opening up through the inner hip. And then gently bring that left leg back to center. The right hand comes to that left calf or thigh. Rotating that left leg all the way over across the body. Gazes over that left shoulder. And then gently lift that left leg back to center. All right, arms are by your side. Palms face up. So this is sort of like a modified warrior three, right? Standing up with airplane arms. And so with the palms face up, reach your fingers towards your right big toe. This time lift your shoulders, neck and head off the mat. Just engaging the core a little bit here. We'll do a few rounds of scissor kicks. Take an inhale, exhale, switch the legs. Inhale, exhale. Right, keep moving at your own pace. When the leg lowers, see if you can keep it hovering off the mat. Relaxing your chin back so you're not kind of feeling a deep stretch in the throat here. Let's take a few more rounds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Ending with that right leg lift to keep lifting the chest. One more inhale. Exhale, hug your knees into your chest. Really nice. Option to either roll over to the right side or gently take a few rocks up and down the entire length of your spine. If you've rocked up through center or rolled over to the right side, we'll meet in table. You're taking a few rocks up and down the entire length of the spine. The next time you get to the top, if you gently roll over your ankles and finding yourself in tabletop. Knees are directly under hips, wrists are directly under shoulders. And five rounds of cow-cat. Again, always going for range of motion over speed. On the inhale, chest drops, gaze lifts. Getting broad through the collarbone. Exhale, chin to chest, really doving the back, looking the lower back under. Inhaling to cow. Exhale to cat. Three more full rounds. Inhale, cow. 
Exhale the cat. Inhale in. And exhale in. Inhale, cow. Imagine that you're squeezing a pencil between the shoulder blades, really dropping through the chest. Exhale, chin to chest, puffing up between the shoulder blades. Last full round. Inhale, cow. Exhale, the cat. Coming back to your neutral spine. Big toes, touch knees, mats with distance. Coming to your wide-legged child's pose. Sending your hips back to your heels. Right, you can keep the elbows bent, keeping the stretch of the lower back and the hips. If you'd like a nice shoulder stretch, pressing into the palms, straightening the arms, maybe your chin, maybe your forehead, touch down on the mat. Let's take another full inhale. And exhale. We're going to take thread the needle with the upper body. So keep the right palm down on the mat. Inhale, the left arm lifts, gaze follows. And then exhale with the palm face up. Thread the left arm behind your right elbow, letting your left chin or your left cheek relax onto the mat. I guess you only have one chin. Right, really press into the palm of that right hand. The weight is on the outer left shoulder. And then keep pressing to the palm of that right hand. On the inhale, left arm lifts. And then exhale, gently plant the left hand next to the right, second side. Inhale, the right arm peels up, gaze follows. And then exhale with the right palm face up, just placing the hand behind your left elbow. Weight is on the right shoulder. Pressing to the palm of your left hand, right arm feels open as you inhale. Exhale, gently place the right hand next to the left. Coming back to your child's pose. And then inhale, tuck all ten toes under. Exhale, hips up and back. And so just taking a few rounds of breath here to take any movement that will help your body find stillness and your down dog. Right, so you can lift your heels. You can bend the knees, pedaling the legs out. You can take some hip circles, right? And as you settle in, feet are hips width, hips to the ceiling. You're drawing your chest through the shoulders. And see if you can spread your fingers a little bit wider, pressing into every single finger mound. Let's take another full inhale and exhale. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, inch form vinyasa. Tiny little steps here. So you're lifting your hips. Maybe you're tending up to the fingertips. Walking your toes to meet your fingers. Once you get to the top of your mat, inhale, halfway lift. Really shift the weight forward into your toes. Exhale, ragdoll, catching opposite elbows. Head and neck relax down. Keep shifting that weight forward and down. Let's take another full inhale and exhale. Release the elbows. Take a deep bend in your knees. Chin tucks into your chest, doming your back. Slowly, slowly roll up. And finding yourself standing in Tadasana at the top of your mat. Rooting into the big toe mounds, the baby toe mounds. 
Bend the middle three toes, feeling the arches of your feet engage. Kneecaps lift to turn the quads on. Your inner thighs and your glutes kind of hug in and lift up, feeling the core activate. Inhale, roll the shoulders up to the ears. And then exhale, release down the back. Let's do that two more times. Inhale, shoulders to the ears. And exhale, down the back. Inhale. And exhale, relaxing the shoulders. Palms are open. Maybe you close your eyes, just feeling the strength of such a still pose. You're welcome to keep your eyes closed for the next three rounds of breath if you'd like. Inhale, arms rise. Exhale, hands come to heart center. Inhale, arms rise. Exhale, hands to the heart. Inhale, arms rise. And exhale, hands pause at heart center. And taking this moment to set your attention for practice. And something to return to throughout class. Maybe something to take off the mat and into the week with you. And gently fluttering the eyes open if they've closed. Just bringing the arms down by your side, making sure you're at the top of the mat if you're not quite there. And just like we did lying down, hug your ribs in. You might feel the lower back kind of tuck under a little bit. Inhale, arms reach up, shoulders lift. Exhale, fold. On your inhale, take a big step back with your right foot. And exhale, rise up to your high lunge. Deep bend in that right knee, the back knee. Send that right hip flexor forward and then straighten the leg back out. Maybe you feel the glute activate a bit more. With your left hand, catch your right wrist. Reach your fingers to the ceiling and then up and over to the left. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, hands frame your left foot. See if you can dome the back and engage the core so much that you can silently step your left foot back to meet your right for plank. Right, and your shoulders and hips are in the same line, flexing your heels. See if you can shift the shoulders just forward of the wrists for five, four, three, two, and one. Option to lower straight as a board or lower the knees. Untuck the toes and then elbows graze your side as you slowly lower down. All right, let your forehead rest on the mat for a moment. Bring your arms by your side, palms face up. Zip your big toes together, and as you inhale, press your fingers towards your heels, lift your shoulders, neck, and chest. And let's take another full inhale, and exhale, release down, let the forehead rest for a moment. You're welcome to take that variation, or this time interlace the hands behind the back. Zip the big toes together if they shifted. Press your fist towards your heels, shoulders, neck, and head lift off the mat. Keep lifting. Let's take another full inhale. And exhale. Hands come under your shoulders. Press back to your wide-legged child's pose. Downward-facing dog. On the inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, step or float your feet to your hands, coming into your forward fold. You keep shifting the weight forward into the toes. Straight leg, straight spine. Reverse swan dive to rise up. Inhale, arms rise, gaze lifts. And to exhale, hands come to heart center. Really nice, picking it right back up. Ribs hug in, shoulders lift as the arms rise. Take an inhale, exhale, fold forward. Inhale, step back with the left foot this time. And then exhale, rise up to your high lunge. All right, so for your high lunge, both hips are squared forward. Your feet are kind of like railroad tracks here. Deep bend in that left knee, left hip flexor goes forward and then straighten that left leg back out, right? Keep 
Sending that left hip forward so it's in line with the right. Arms are up and overhead. Right hand catches the left wrist. Press your hands to the ceiling. Up and over to the right this time. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, hands frame your right foot. Again, doming the back. See if you can silently pick that right foot up. Place it next to the left for plank. Holding for five, four, three, two, and one. Straight as a board or with your bent knees, toes untucked, elbows graze your side as you lower down and we'll come right into space. So your elbows are tractioning back towards your heels, chest is drawing forward. And again, imagining that you're squeezing that pencil between the shoulder blades to help initiate the back bend from the thoracic spine, not just from the, the lower spine, the lumbar. Right, let's take another inhale and exhale. Option to stay here, turn, turn your hands out to 11 o'clock and one o'clock. You can stay here or taking seal pose, pressing into the palms. Right, if you feel pinching the lower back, come right out. It's a little too deep, a little too much pressure there. Let's take another inhale and exhale, gently lowering back down, coming through your wide-legged child pose. And then downward facing dog. I'm just noticing if your down dogs are starting to feel a little looser, right? When the inhale gazes forward, exhale gently stepping or floating, feet to meet your hands forward fold. And you're welcome to take the forward fold we've already done, or maybe you bring your peace fingers under your big toes. If you have the bind, keep it, lift the gaze straight spine, Exhale, fold, let those elbows splay out, and keep shifting the weight forward into your toes. Make this a really active forward fold, so really trying to straighten those legs. Let's take another inhale. And exhale, releasing any bind that you have. Deep bend in the knees so that your chest is resting on the thighs. Chin tucks into the chest, doming your back. And slowly, slowly rolling up, finding yourself in Tadasana. All right, so we're at the top of the mat. You're shifting the weight into the left foot. Hug your right knee in. Take a, I'm gonna come to the other side of the mat. Hug that right knee in, take a big inhale, exhale, high lunge. Getting really strong in the legs here. On your inhale, you're gonna lift up and out of the left hip. Exhale, coming to your warrior two. So the left heel intersects the arch of the right. That left knee is tracking over your left pinky toe. Just settling in. And then we're going to take a few little kind of pulses here. Really active arms. All right, so we're going to take an inhale. Exhale, straighten your left leg. Bring the palms to touch overhead. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, straighten the left leg, palms touch. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, palms touch. Last full round, inhale, warrior two, exhale, palms touch, setting up for triangle, inhale, warrior two, reach the left arm forward, getting length, left hip back, micro bend in the left knee. And so imagine the entire back side body is flat against a wall. Press the back of your left hand into your left calf to help open up through the right side. Let's take another inhale and exhale. Deep bend in that left knee, hands cartwheel down. Frame the left foot, you're on the ball of your right foot. Gently step the left foot back to meet the right. 
move through your vinyasa, right? And you can always take wide legged like child's pose to down dog. You can take any of the pro back bends, locust, sphinx, big cobra, right? Or move through the vinyasa, we'll meet in downward facing dog. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, step or float to your forward fold. Option to take any of the forward folds we've already done, or see about taking the palms of the hands under the soles of your feet, Padahasasana. So your toes are in line with your wrists, and then you're still sending your weight forward, head and neck relaxed down. Let's take another inhale and exhale. Gently releasing the hands from under the feet. Deep bend in the knees, chin to chest, dome the back. And just see how slowly you can roll up and taking your time. And coming to the top of the mat, if you're not quite there, and setting up for the second side. And so this time the weight is in the right foot and you're hugging your left knee into your chest. Engage the hip flexor and take an inhale, exhale, step back for your high lunge. Actively reaching your fingertips to the ceiling, take an inhale, exhale, open up to your warrior two, right? So getting really strong here in your warrior two, that right heel intersects the arch of the left foot. Make sure that left knee is opening up over the pinky toe, right? See if you can sink down and not forward. Arms are equal in height. Just settling in for a moment. And we'll take those four pulses. So we'll take an inhale, exhale, straighten the right leg, palms touch. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, straighten the leg, palms touch. Two more. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, setting up for triangle. Inhale, exhale, reach that right arm forward, send that right hip back, triangle pose. And so again, you're drawing those shoulders together behind the back. The back of your right hand is pressing into your right calf. Let's take another full inhale and exhale. Deep bend in the right knee, hands cartwheel down, frame the right foot, coming onto the ball of the left foot. Right foot steps back to meet your left, move through your vinyasa. And we'll all meet in downward facing dog. It's a really take your time to get there. And from this end up, we'll take a little twist. So walk your feet like one full step forward and then bring your feet as wide as your mat. Bring your right hand to the left ankle. Gaze is under the left armpit. Really press into the palm of that left hand. Gently switching sides, right palm plants, bringing the left hand outside your right ankle, gazes under your right armpit. Let's take another inhale and exhale, planting the left palm. Walk your feet back to your down dog stance. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, step or float, feet to hands, forward fold. This time with a straight leg and a straight spine, arms rise, gaze lifts. And exhale, hands to heart center. All right, bring your hands to the hips, shifting the weight into the left leg, straighten the right leg, Point your right toes and see if you can keep that right leg lifted. 
plant something backwards or forwards. Holding for three, two, and one. Bend that right knee. Big step back to your high lunge. Let's take an inhale. Exhale, hands frame your left foot. So stay on your um, fingertips here. We're going to take those pulses again, but a little differently. So you're going to take an inhale with the knee bent. Exhale, straighten the left leg back. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Hold with the leg straight. Take an inhale. Exhale, the left leg is straight. Step your right foot in slightly. Right toes point out to about one o'clock for pyramid pose. And so your hands are framing your left foot. Maybe you're on the palms of your hands. Maybe you're on your fingertips. Or you can also bring your hands to your hips. Keep sending that left hip back in space and the right hip forward. Let's take another full inhale and exhale. And press into the palm of your right hand. Left arm peels open for your modified revolved triangle. But you can stay right here, or you can bring the right hand outside the left foot. Either way, keep sending that left hip back in space. Gaze is lifted. Let's take another inhale and exhale, lowering that left hand. Hands frame your left foot. Come onto the ball of the right foot. Bring your left foot back to meet the right. Moving through your vinyasa, or you can take your um, wide-legged child's pose. Straight back to down dog, right? Taking what your body needs. We'll meet here. Downward facing dog. Keep lifting your hips to the ceiling, heels lower, getting a deep stretch through the backside body. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, step or float feet to hands coming into your forward fold. This time, interlace the hands behind the back. Roll the shoulders up, back, and down. And then press your fist to the ceiling. See if you can keep your palms touching. And keep sending the weight forward. Straight leg, straight spine, keep your hands interlaced. Inhale, halfway lift, press your fist to the back of the room. And then straight leg, straight spine, rise up. Press your fist to the floor, opening through your chest. Let's take a full inhale and exhale. Gently release your hands, and coming back to the top, setting up for the second side. So the weight is in your right foot. And then you're going to straighten your left leg. See how high you can lift that left leg, right? The, the quad is really working. Pointing your toes. Try not to lean forward or back. Holding for three, two, and one. Hug that left knee in. Big step back to your high lunge. Let's take an inhale. Exhale, hands frame your right foot. And again, staying on your pink on your tip to on your fingertips here. Move into that little pulse four times. So inhale, the right knee is bent. Exhale, straightening through the right leg. Inhale, bend. You can come onto the palms if you have space, right? Exhale, straight. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, bend. Exhale, straight, pausing here. Set the left foot in, toes are out to about 11 o'clock for pyramid pose. Maybe you come all the way down to the palms. Hands can also come to the hips, or you can stay on your fingertips here. The trick is to really keep sending that right hip back in space. Let's 
Let's take another full inhale and exhale. Revolved triangle, you can either keep the left hand inside the right foot or a deeper variation, the left hand is outside the right foot. Press into the palm of that left hand, right arm peels open for your twist. Take another full inhale and exhale. Hands frame your left, your right foot. Bend into the right knee. Come back all the way onto the ball of the left foot. Right foot steps back to meet your left. Let's go to plank. And then just right back to our downward facing dog. Really keep drawing your chest back towards your thighs. Let's take another full inhale and exhale. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, stepping or floating your feet to your hands, coming into your forward fold. And this time we'll take a deep, deep bend in the knees, chin to the chest, slowly roll up, okay, opening up the lower back. And coming to stand into Dasana at the top of the mat. All right. Putting all the pieces together, and so you're shifting the weight to the left foot, just like we did earlier, straightening your right leg out in front, point your toes. Hug your right knee in, and then straighten the right leg behind your back for warrior three with airplane arms. Tuck your right big toe down. Maybe you stay here, maybe you interlace your hands behind your back. Option to stay here in Warriors 3, or maybe you go to toppling tree where you drop your torso and you keep lifting the arms and the leg, the right leg. All right, let's take another full inhale, boop, and exhale wherever you are. Standing splits, hands come to frame that left foot, point your right toes, engage that glute, keep lifting the leg, and take another inhale. Exhale, right foot meets your left. Forward fold. And heel toe the feet as wide as the mat. Deep bend in the knees. Waterfall. So you're swaying side to side, right? Really deep bend in the knees. Make this a big movement. And then gently coming back to center. Heel toe the feet back to hips width. Straight leg, straight spine. Inhale, arms rise, gaze lifts. Exhale, hands to the heart. All right, last big flow sequence here. The weight is in the right foot this time. Hands to the hips, straightening your left leg. And then bend that left knee. Taking e or airplane arms for your warrior three. Left big toe tucks down, trying to keep your hips square to the mat. Press your fingertips back towards your left heel like we did in locus earlier, or maybe interlace the hands behind the back, right? Option to stay here or toppling tree, torso drops, lift the left leg. See if you can keep those palms touching. And take another inhale and exhale. Hands release, coming to frame the right foot, standing splits. Really engage that left glute to lift the left leg. Let's take another full inhale and exhale, left foot meets the right. Really nice. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your palms, moving through your final vinyasa of practice. And we'll all meet in downward facing dog. And let's take three full rounds of open mouth exhales here. Releasing into your wide legged like child's pose. Big toes touch, knees as wide as the mat. Hips to the heels, really nice. And 
and calling into your mind the intention that you set at the beginning of practice and thanking yourself for showing up and for taking this time for you. And walk both hands to the upper right corner of the mats and the hips to the left. Really breathe into the left side body, trying to keep the shoulders squared down to the mat. And gently walk the hands and the hips through center, hands to the left, hips to the right. Again, trying to keep those shoulders square to the mat. Breath is to the right side body. And then gently walk the hands and the hips through to center. Hands walk back to the knees, bringing the knees to touch, shifting the weight to one side, and then bring the legs out in front. Okay, so we've already done a lot of hamstring work. So we'll just take one variation of our forward folds today. Um, so legs are out straight, coming to the top half of the mat if you're not quite there. This time we'll start with the Palms face up, hands frame the legs, deep, deep C curve in the spine, chin to the chest. Imagine the top of your head is touching your knees. So hopefully you're, you're getting a little bit of a hamstring stretch, but you're really feeling it in the lower back, maybe up and down the spine into the neck. Keeping your chin tucked into the chest, doming the back, slowly roll up. Really nice. So we'll come into our wide-legged forward fold. And see if you can sit up nice and tall. So just noticing if you're kind of doming your back, right? This time we're really going for a nice straight spine. You're flexing your feet. Your toes are flexing directly to you. If you notice that you turn your toes in or out, you, you won't uh, get the stretch um, in all three hamstrings in each leg here, right? So sitting up nice and tall, maybe you stay right here. Otherwise, keeping your sits bones rooted down, maybe you start to walk your hands forward, keeping the spine straight. Let's take another full inhale and exhale. And gently walk the hands back in. So we'll take oyster pose for our outer hips. They've done quite a bit today. So you'll start with the left heel closer towards your body. The right heel is loosely crossed in front, right? So they up nice and tall to start and then walk your hands forward. Keep sending the hips back. And so the sensation should really be on the outer right hip, maybe even into the glute, lower back. And keep sending your hips back in space. Let's take another full inhale and exhale. And walk the hands back in. This time you're walking your hands about six inches behind your seat, pressing to the palms, lift your hip flexors to the ceiling, knees release down, head and neck can release back. 
And so you're really opening through the front side. And then let's take another inhale and exhale, chin tucks in, gently lowering back down. Second side, so this time you are loosely, the left heel is closest to the body, loosely crossing the left ankle in front of the right, sorry, the right heel is closest to your body, All right? So other side, sitting up nice and tall, rooting your sits bones down. Let's take a full inhale, and then on the exhale, just gently walking the hands forward, right? It really does not matter how far they go. You just really want to feel a sensation in the outer left hip this time. And keep sending your hips back in space. And so see if you can send your breath into the lower back. As you inhale, feel it expand. And as you exhale, maybe you feel it release a little bit more. Take another inhale and exhale. And gently walk the hands back in, bringing the hands behind your seat by about six inches, right? So you're pressing to the palms, hips lift, releasing the knees down, head and neck release back. Keep engaging the glutes for another inhale. Exhale, chin to chest, gently lower back down. And then gently release the legs, bringing your feet hips width distance. Arms frame the legs, tuck the lower back under. Take a full inhale, eight count, exhale, lower. Here we go. Inhale, exhale, lower. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Really nice. Hugging your knees into your chest, giving yourself a tight squeeze. We'll take one back bend here, but we'll hold for eight breaths. Lifting the feet back onto the mat. If you're opting out of a back bend today, you can bring your feet as wide as the mat and knees touch at center. Otherwise, feet are hips width. Arms are by the side, palms face down. Tuck the lower back under so the entire spine is rooted. Let's take a full inhale and exhale. Preparing to lift on the inhale, pressing to the heels, hip flexors to the ceiling. Maybe you stay here. Maybe you interlace your hands behind the back, pressing the forearms into the mat. And, and imagine that you're squeezing a block between your inner thighs. And let's take a full inhale. And exhale, gently release the hands, lower the hips. We'll all bring our feet as wide as the mat and knees touch at center. Always important to reset the spine in neutral after deep back bend. All right, let's hug our knees into our chest. Happy baby pose. Peace fingers catch big toes or outer edges of your feet. You're welcome to sway side to side if that feels good. And gently drawing the knees back in and setting up for our supine twist. And goal posting the arms, hug the knees into the chest, take a full inhale and exhale, release the knees to the right, gazes over the left shoulder.
Breathing gently, lift the left leg, then the right, bringing the head back to center. Hug the knees back into your chest. Resetting for the second side. Let's take a full inhale. Exhale, knees release to the left. And gazes over the right shoulder. Gently lifting the right leg and the left, bringing the head back to center, bringing your arms to hug your knees into your chest, setting up for Shavasana. On the inhale, maybe your shoulders, neck and head lift off the mat. Exhale, letting everything go, and taking up as much space as possible, letting the body and the mind feel the full benefits of this practice. And slowly starting to come back into this space, wiggling fingers and toes, maybe rolling wrists and ankles. And just as we started, reaching those arms up and overhead, giving yourself a full body stretch. Maybe you keep your eyes closed. You gently roll over to the right side. Pausing in the seat of full potential. With little effort, making your way into a comfortable seated posture at the top of the mat. And even with closed eyes, the gaze slightly forward and down. And bringing the palms face down on the knees, sit bones root to the mat, chest draws forward, inhale shoulders to the ears. And exhale, relax them down the back. The top of the head is reaching towards the sky. Gently bringing the palms to touch at heart center. And in this moment of stillness, calling into your mind a quality about yourself that you really value. Completing the sentence and saying it to yourself three times. I am. And 
together we'll seal this practice with an inhale and an open mouth exhale Thank you all so much for taking the time out of your day to practice with me. Um, I hope you have a relaxing rest of your day. All right. Take care. Thanks, everyone. Bye.